Hello, hello beautiful people. Well, here we are and it is day 19 of lockdown here in New Zealand. And tonight, because it's night time here, uh, I am going to teach how to use a pendulum properly. Excuse my red cheeks, I've been cooking. I've actually been cooking a um, banana custard pie or tart and an upside, upside down pudding, pear and raspberry. So uh, John and, her, and I have got that to look forward to tonight and over the weekend, it's Easter, Easter Sunday. So <clears throat> yes, tonight, how to use a pendulum properly. Now I'll just talk a little bit about the pendulum. The pendulum is a way that you can get confirmation about things. You can connect to your innate inner being through using your pendulum. You can connect to your or your higher self uh, through using your pendulum. There are other ways to also do this. Um, one of them is that you can stand upright, feet flat on the floor with your feet just a little bit apart and you can ask the question, what is my yes? And your body will either slowly tilt forward or slowly tilt back. Uh, again, you can do the same thing, what is my no? And the same again. So you'll know by just standing there which way your body will lean. Now you've got to get yourself into a nothingness space so you're not influencing it in any way. Um, another way, this, what is my yes? And that's normally my yes. What is my no? And it pulls apart. My no part pulls apart. So you can use that way too, but uh, the pendulum is easy. You can even use your necklace if you like. Now, what I do want to say with this is it is far better to use your intuition and only use this as confirmation or a backup because you can get lazy if you use your pendulum all the time. So it's better to literally go within, feel what you're feeling. Does this feel right uh, or doesn't it feel right? If you get the slightest little bit of, oh my God, it doesn't really feel like, or, or I'm not sure, it's probably not right for you. So that would be your no answer. So you definitely take things into your body first. If you've got a decision to make uh, or you're... Um, I'll talk about working over the body if you're a healer in a minute. But if you've got a decision to make and you want to uh, confirmation through your higher self, then um, it's better to go within first and really feel, does this feel right for me? Now, if it's right for you, you'll get a rush of excitement. You'll get that passion lit up or you'll feel a tiny bit of excitement. Um, if you are feeling mm, even just the slightest little bit, mm, I'm not sure, then it's probably not. So if you went ahead to do whatever it is, you would probably learn a lesson in some way. And it's normally about yourself, about trusting yourself. So, um, yes, we, you know, with your pendulum, if you're a healer, then you can use your pendulum over the body to see if the chakras are spinning correctly or in the way that you feel that they should be. Uh, you can check out different areas of the body. Is there something going on here I need to work it on? Um, lots and lots of different ways you can use it as a healer. You can, uh, if you're even doing readings for people and you want confirmation about something you're getting, you can ask your pendulum. Is, is the answer to the question, is that correct? Or um, is it correct that so-and-so, 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 whatever the question is. Um, I use my pendulum quite a bit. I certainly use it when it comes to clearing spirits to the light or soul rescue. I use it quite a bit when I'm healing over the body. It tells me if the chakras are spinning correctly or not and all sorts of other things that I will ask over the body and I fully trust it when I'm working in that way. Now, 
You can influence it by your thoughts. So that's why I say it's better to get into a really clear space. And if you want to ask your pendulum a question, the best thing you can do to get the correct answer is to not look at it. And you need, you want to have your elbow tight against your arm or your elbow on the table. So your elbow is not going to move. So you know your hand is not moving it. The energy coming down your arm is what's moving it. Or if you just stood up, you have your elbow tight in so you know you're not moving your elbow and you ask your question. So first of all, you need to find out your yes. So you ask it. You ask. Um, you can call in your guides first if you like. And uh, you can do a little ceremony over it. Please. Can you please give me the correct answer? Um, just make it simple. I, I like simplicity myself. So I would say, please show me my yes. And you literally hold it. And allow it to, I've got my elbow tight in. And I'm just going to allow it to do its thing. So my answer, yes, is, and I, of course, I already know this because I use it, is it swinging clockwise? Yours may be different. Some people get a yes just backwards and forwards. Some people get a yes, it's swinging anti-clockwise. So this is how you do. Please give me the correct answer of my yes. And you get your answer. If you can hear scratching, that's Lily trying to get in the door. So then, while it's swinging, please show me my no answer. And you will see that it will start making another movement. Now, my no is anti-clockwise. So now it's spinning the other way. I only do yes or no answers. Some people say unsure. Uh, well, I, I, I don't do that. It's either yes or no for me. Um, so to check it. So I'm going to put my elbows in. So is my name Ginny? And you will see that from my angle here, it's going clockwise. Now, while it's swinging, I'm not going to look at it. Is my name John? I can feel it's changing. It's a slow change, but it is changing. And it's going anti-clockwise. So you can actually speed the answer up by holding it, having a, 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 a shorter um, chain. So it makes it the answer quicker. Is my name Ginny? Is my name John? And you'll see it turns and changes direction and goes the other way. So you check it. Is my answer yes? What is my yes answer, please? And there it is. What is my no answer, please? And there it is. It changes. So this is how to use your pendulum to ask questions. You can ask questions about absolutely anything. Um, like I said before, it's really important that you first go within and use your intuition because this can make you lazy about tuning into yourself and using your intuition. What feels right? What feels right to you? That's the best way first. And then use this, if you need to, for confirmation. So you literally ask it any question you like. So, I don't know. I don't really know what question to ask it. Well, let's ask it something where it will um, 
perhaps she'll tell us something of the future. Let's just ask and see what happens. So, here in New Zealand, we've been in lockdown for, I think it's 19 days. It might be, yeah, no, I think it's 19. Are we going to be in lockdown uh, level four for another two weeks? Now that's going to know. Are we going to be in lockdown level four for another week and a bit? That is a yes, because all together in New Zealand, we've been told we're in lockdown for four weeks. So are we going to go to level three once the four week lockdown is over? And that's a yes. So we'll see what happens there. So this is how to use your pendulum. Like I said, you can use it for lots of different things. Uh, even if you, you know, maybe there's something wrong with one of your pets or something like that, you can help use your pendulum. First of all, go within and see if you're sussing anything out um, and then get confirmation with your pendulum. Um, or, you know, if you want to ask it a question about anything in your life. Don't get to rely on it though. It's, it's really important that you rely on your own gut feelings. That's what's important. Only use your pendulum for confirmation if you need to. But that is how to use a pendulum. It is so simple and everyone can do it. If you're out somewhere and you haven't got your pendulum with you, you can use your necklace. Just take your necklace off and use it as if it is a pendulum. Um, or you can use the standing there and um, is this right for me and see which way your body goes. You you already If you've already tested which is your yes and no, then you already know that. And see which way your do body tilts. My yes for that is forward. My no for that is backwards. And it's very gentle. It's a gentle movement. Uh, so I'm going to leave that with you and uh, have fun playing with your pendulum. You can, uh, you know, test it, see if it works, play with it, have a get, have a play uh, and just see if it works. Test your own intuition first and then see if you get confirmation with your pendulum. Just have a play with it. It's all good. Uh, it's not done in any nasty way or anything like that. I, I only use mine for pure love and light. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial of how to use your pendulum correctly. And um, it's lots of love from me. I hope you have a lovely, lovely rest of your Easter Sunday or for some of you in the world, tomorrow is Easter Sunday. Hope you have a lovely rest of your Easter. I will see you tomorrow because I'll be doing another video. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. Please, please like, um, subscribe to this and please, please share it because this information is for everyone out there. It's not for me. I already know the stuff. It is for you out there to share, to help guide other people, whatever it is, to help guide yourself. All of the information on my channel is for everyone to share so you can start learning more about this intuition stuff and guidance and um, how to use uh, certain tools, spiritual tools if you like, to enlighten yourself and help yourself more. So lots and lots of love from me. Have a wonderful rest of your Easter and take care. Please subscribe, share. If you subscribe, please click on the little bell because then you'll get an, uh, an email notification that uh, I've put up another video. So you won't lose track and you'll, you'll keep up to date. Tomorrow I might do a meditation, but I might get guided to uh, actually do something else. So please take care and lots and lots of love from me. Bye.